A gentleman just walked in our studio that I am meeting for the first time as well as you. This is WFA TV in Dallas, Texas. May I have your name, please, sir? My name is Abraham Zapruder. Mr. Zapruder? Zapruder, yes, sir. Zapruder. And would you tell us your story, please, sir? I got out in, uh, about a half hour earlier and get to a good spot to shoot some pictures. And I found a spot, one of these uh, concrete blocks that I have down near that park near the underpass. And I got on top there, there was another girl from my office, she was right behind me. <clears throat> and as I was shooting, as the president was coming down from Houston Street making his turn, it was about halfway down there, I had a shot. And he uh, slumped to the side, like this. Then I had another shot or two, I couldn't say it was one or two. And I saw his head practically open up, all blood and everything, and I kept on shooting. That's about all. I'm just sick again. I think that pretty well expresses the entire yeah. feelings of Terrible. the whole world. Terrible. You have the film in your camera. We'll try yes, to get, I brought it on the studio. Now. We'll try to get that processed and have it as soon as possible. Right now, we have videotape. Uh, a picture of the building of where the uh, bullet came from. Let's take the picture first, then the videotape. Oh, this is videotape now. This is a picture of the Hearst leaving... Uh, Parkland Hospital with President Kennedy's body. As I understand it, uh, the body is being taken to one of the funeral homes here in Dallas. All right, that, Bob, that pretty well covers it, I think. This is the same hospital that President Kennedy visited in his visit here in 1961. It is not? Excuse me. He went, this is the outside shot of the hospital and the people who are gathered there. All stunned from the realization that President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas today. Now we have a picture of the building There's a picture of the building that one of the boys took showing uh, possibly one of the windows that, the, uh, that, the, uh, that was used. The top right hand. Okay, which one, which one was it? Uh, let's see if we can figure it out. There it is. There is a picture of the window where the gun was uh, allegedly fired from that killed President must Kennedy have been the line of fire today. Excuse me, go ahead, sir. I, I must have been the line of fire where I see now the picture where I was. I was right on that uh, concrete block, as I said. And as I explained before, as a sickening scene. At first I thought perhaps it's a... Uh, it sounded like somebody make a joke. You hear a, a shot and somebody grabs their stomach. I was about 100 yards away from... Uh, one of our other, the boy and I walked over to see President Kennedy. We were about 100 yards away, and it sounded like there were three shots. And after the first couple, I said, uh, uh, my God, uh, they've shot the president. And then we walked over and looked down and could see the people on the grass there. And I imagine you were one of the people that we saw there uh, was, uh, underneath uh, the viaduct. This, uh, uh, this happened this afternoon about, uh, what time, 12.35, the president died at... Something like it was the president died at one o'clock. They sounded like, uh, at first they sounded like firecrackers and somebody <clears throat> next to us said they're shooting off fireworks, but then we realized, uh, it didn't take but a minute to realize that they were uh, loud reports and for those of you who are familiar with hearing a rifle shot, it was uh, a recognizable sound. The videotape that we have, Bobby, what do you have now? Okay, the, that is, that completes the videotape coverage for the moment. We will have film back um, in about 15 minutes of the arrest of a person who could be the person who shot the policeman or the Secret Service man or Conley or President Kennedy, and we'll have that in just a moment. Now let's go back to ABC in New York.